penultimate Saturday of the season, they travelled south to sunny Selhurst Park, knowing victory would really put the squeeze on Leeds and Manchester United, both of whom were due to play the following day. Forest have acquitted themselves really well here so far, and Hurst takes his place as the corner is taken by Worthington, who will get a second chance to cross it in, and that's Williams going in for it with Nigel Martin, the ball not going out, and eventually uh, Martin will clear, but Williams posing a threat. Martin, brave goalkeeping, diving at Williams' feet. This is Wilson. He's got men both sides of him, and he's calling for Williams to uh, help him out a little here. It breaks for Sheridan. Now Phil King, who's got plenty of room to come into now, might try an effort on the right foot and drives it just over the bar. Phil King, who's only scored one goal in his Wednesday career, going close. So Martin bowling the ball out for young Southgate, but Sheridan will get there first and nicks it past him. That's really clever play from Sheridan, who's going to flight this one in here now. Paul Williams rising and scoring. Yes, Paul Williams. Oh, great moment for him. A Londoner who used to play on this ground for Charlton Athletic. And the fans delirious. Martin disconsolate. Paul Williams grabbing all the glory and Wednesday in front. It's another step on the road towards the top of the table. A beautiful ball in from Sheridan. Finished so crisply by Paul Williams. Palace coming again. Woods uh, coming halfway maybe to this one. Gets the punch and it is uh, Hedman's up there. Oh, slashed across the face of that goal by Rudy Hedman. He doesn't get many goals. Close there. And Trevor Francis relieves David Hurst, who's done a great job bearing in mind his injury. Seconds only left then. Francis so keen for a win today, and his side has played well for him. As this one is hoisted forward, one last assault maybe. It's Bright against Pearson, and Bright's won it! And scored! Real drama at Salhurst. A cruel way for Trevor Francis to find out that the championship really is not going to be Sheffield Wednesdays.